Japan at one or for like a month or so. Which you know, he says it was not nearly as awesome or interesting as anyone could possibly have hoped. Right. Mostly because apparently his teacher hold him away by the neck. When, um, and I think, you know, he has bad memories of it because his teacher hauled him away by the neck while a 16-year-old Japanese girl was trying to haul him onto the train to take her, uh, take him home with her. <laughs> I know, he was 16 at the time, and he was like, no, no, let me go. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, well, I've got a lot of sand. I need to dump some of the sandstone off. Wish you could turn that back into things. But yes, that was also uh, when he got away, he was like, well, I guess that I, you know, er, she did a good thing because I wouldn't want to cheat on my girlfriend at home. I don't want to feel like a bastard. And then got back and found out she'd been cheating on him the entire time he was gone. Oh. And uh, so I recall that ended with... um, Basically, every single thing that she had left at his house being literally launched at her house. Like, out <laughs> of a small catapult made by friends. No damage, but it was just all on the roof to her house. <laughs> We're like, good luck. But, no, I mean... But, yeah, I mean, he at least is aware about some of the things because, you know... There are a lot of horror foods in Japan that are culturally very significant, or what have you, that if you're not used to them and haven't had the time period that it takes to adjust to specific fla flavors, mm -hmm. uh, will terrify you. And I want to get a few of them and get together, like, him, and I, I've never tried any of them either, but I want to get together and try, like, natto. Mm-hmm. Which, if you've never heard of natto, is what looks like soybeans covered in horse semen. <laughs> where there's a specific, like, bacteria or something you put into the natto, or maybe even mold spore. And you it's fermented soybeans. Okay, I think this lava plant is not working, because I think they're just dying in the lava and not falling through it. Well, I now have more sand than I can, or than we will ever need, I think. So, How much do you have? Uh, I'm going to pull out a damn calculator for this one, actually. So that's the bar. Space is t 9 by... Nine, or nine. Hold on. Uh, 18. Uh, 18 1152. Oh. <laughs> I think we're fine when it comes to, uh, or when it comes to, uh, shark Sand? Beans. Yes. They're similar. I got confused. Let's see. I need a thing. Also, I need less of these things. But more of the other thing. Uh, since it does b dig up blocks so fast, I just used like 25% of my super pickaxe. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it counts per block, not by the amount of time you spend digging. Whoops. Oh well. I'll make another with my remaining like 12 diamonds. Or the remaining 12 diamonds. But apparently it won't let you enchant it, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm angry. And confused. And a little bit hungry. Well, I could I could eat something. Yeah. Oh, I should close the door since it's night and there are skeletons everywhere. <laughs> uh, but, uh, alright. So, we have sand. How the hell did we get to that tunnel in the first place? Uh, there's a tunnel to get to the tunnel. Where's the tunnel to get to the tunnel? In is a it, tunnel. Is it the first house, or... I'm not sure, because, like, we went all over the place, and... So, are you at the skeleton grinder, or... I am. It's not here, I don't think. No, I don't think it is. I'm just curious. Alright, so, when morning happens... Yeah, I'm still trying to work out this whole lava blade thing. When morning happens, I think I'm gonna go... I keep wondering if I shouldn't dump the sand on top of it, and we, like, come in from the bottom. Or, come in that way. Well, the problem is we would have to, like, dig through the sand to get to the roof. Well, yeah. 
but there would be no water in the way. Hmm. I'm gonna think about this. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just get more sand. It's not particularly difficult. Uh, let me put that in there. Come on, I need a skeleton to fall in so I can see what happens to it. Uh, no, it hates you. Watch, I'm probably like too far away for it to register now. Probably. Also, standing here with this open lava source next to me is not a comforting idea. Oh, I forgot how ridiculous the super bow was. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, like, sniping all the mobs around us. Or all Fun, the mobs. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. I don't know where you skeletons got, or zombies got eggs, but I think at this point you're openly mocking me. <laughs> Uh, there's just a lot of eggs in the world. And they're just picking them up. Not all of them good. Nope. Some of them are Canadian. No, seriously, why aren't there any skeletons coming down through here? Oh, there's a lot of mobs up here. Hmm. I blame the government. Maybe I've just, like, screen. reached the mob limit for the area and it's not going to generate any more until I clear these. That's entirely possible. Ah, I love you, Infinity Bow. <laughs> what can I see underwater suddenly? Oh, it's probably something on my helmet. Oh, how if the like hell? Aqua Affinity or something? Yeah, I do. I think that would be it. Alright. Alright, now I hear skeletons coming through the system. They will probably shoot me as they pass this point, but I can take it. I've been trying to figure out how one goes about um, killing Oh yeah, they, they will not fall through... They won't fall through lava. They just stand there and die in it. Well, that's nice of them. Not really. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so, um... Stuff. Mm, I'm going to go see about the practicality of dumping sand onto this. And see if, uh... It's, you know, horribly wasteful. Oh, it probably is. Yeah. There we go. It's all the way over there. This is going to be also interesting content. <laughs> I'm also hoping it'll help get down on laser fish. But the laser fish are what we're eventually planning to farm. Well, only... right, but we don't need to worry about that until we're actually in there. Yeah. I've actually come up with a few designs because as long as there's water... They will spawn in it. It doesn't matter if the water is stationary or moving. I know, you can just, like, make an aquarium and it'll work. Yeah, I mean, you just put one, like, layer of, uh, water blocks, and the rest is moving water going downwards. You can actually just build a falling trap. Yeah, I actually suggested this idea to you a few you, weeks ago. You probably did, yeah. I don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure there's some evidence of that, unless... Well, if we didn't email, there's, like, written proof of it, but... Yeah. Oh, hello, laser fish. I will call you with Bardo. What? Ow. I'm trying to kill some laser fish. Ow, you mean fuckers. <laughs> oh, really, bitch? Uh, I'm just an asshole. Fuck you. Yeah, there's a lot of laser fish around here. I'll build this in. Well, there. all you have to do is, um, you know. Kill the Batman. No, put a wall between you that they can't get around. Yeah. They can attack you on the ground, or on the land. And not right, but they, they won't attack through a wall. Oh, yeah. This is going to be more difficult than I expected. Oh, wait, I have a bow. 
That's what I should be using right about now. I think that they attack everything, like, just because they're dicks. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that I lowered this thing for nothing since the whole thing doesn't work. So that kind of sucks. Yeah. I don't feel like putting it back either, so it's just going to be there in the whole... Uh... Yeah, until fixing it seems like a valid option. Until I get another idea, I guess. Yeah. On the plus side, I'm uh, almost to 30 levels like I wanted. The disturbing part is that uh, these laser fish are actually very good at taking and giving damage. Um, the problem with not being able to enchant some of the stuff is uh, we do need, like, respiration. Well, I've got a tremendous amount of enchantment on my iron armor. I don't know how I did that. Maybe it's just... But you don't have respiration, do you? I have... Respiration 3. Well, damn it. <laughs> and we'll just figure out what, you know, to do between sessions again. Oh, God. I should No, you fuck you, fish. Oh, fuck it. And it's difficult to tell where their stupid lasers are coming from half the time. Yeah, I guess. Well... At least if you're in the water, because it could be coming for above or below. I'm just going to build a sand funnel. Nope, fuck you. Really? A wall between me and you and you still shot me? Server lag, probably. Maybe. Or it's just the dick. Apparently there's just not a way to dodge them at the m or when I'm trying to do this wall thing. And half the time they're invisible. Or at least under the water where I can't see them. Well, that's kind of a problem. Yeah. You little motherfucker. Seriously. Oh yeah, arrows have a stop after a certain distance underwater now. Yeah. That's bullshit as well. Well, it's been a long time since they traveled very well underwater. Can't even remember the last time they did. Yeah. I'm sure it was, you know, back when dinosaurs roamed Minecraftia. I think there's a mod for that. Probably. I hate you assholes, you little fishy buttholes. A brand of candy that will never take off. Little fishy buttholes. Yeah. This sword should kill you in one hit and doesn't. <laughs> I think they have a lot of hit points. They seem to. You need thorns on your armor so they take damage in return. Unfortunately, I did not get that. Really? Three of the bastards? This is a bit nu a bit nuts. Mm. I will look forward to the day when I can farm your people. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like it'll be difficult to like effectively farm them if they're that tough. No, uh, just drop them. Oh. Water going down like three blocks. And, uh, that's enough space. Or three or four blocks is enough for them to spawn in. Then all you do is just let them drop like 20 blocks to the ground and they die. Ah. Uh, so we get drops, but no experience off it. Yeah. Well, we could also build a flume. We're good at that. I don't think they can use the lasers out of the water. I don't know. I mean, we can always find out at some point. We probably will. Yeah, probably the hard way. Usually, it's us. Uh, they can sure as hell shoot you out of the water. Or while they're in the water and you're out of it, so... Might not be the best plan in the world to, you know... 
have them in water when we kill them. Uh, those